Nice Hi, this is Paul Shortino from Rating the Rock Vault here in Las Vegas at the new Tropicana. And I'm giving a shout out to the Rock Pit. Yeah, baby! <laughs> rock Mark. It's, uh, it's been going for two years, and it's uh, six nights a week here yeah. at the new Tropicana Las Vegas, and it's a blast playing with, uh, working with Robin McCauley, Doug Aldridge, uh, Hugh McDonald from Bon Jovi, and uh, Jay Schellen, uh, and Michael T. Ross, Andrew Freeman. Uh, what a great cast of uh, Howard Lease of, of, of players. And it's winning all kinds of awards. In uh, Vegas, best musical. Well. Number yeah. one on TripAdvisor right now. Mm, yeah. yeah, we were uh, last week. We were actually on a boat with Wendy Dio, who's a lovely lady. We we met her and we had a bit of a chat, and she said that there was the possibility of a rough cut reunion. Yes, we're doing the, uh, uh, the Ronnie James Memorial for his cancer uh, on the uh, 16th of May. So that's the show in LA. Is that, that'll it? be at uh, Forest Lawn. Yes, and, and that's going to be. A and then there's a three-day thing going event, but that's. The 16th is when they buried Ronnie, and so they're they're doing an event there, and then there'll be a barbecue on Sunday. But I can only fly down and fly back. So, yeah. so it's a strictly one-off event. Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing one song. Oh wow! A song that Ronnie had uh, written with us and produced in okay. the studio with us. So that must be a great honor to. to oh, play it's uh, like you know he was uh, quite an icon and um, quite a talented human being and. Sure, missing. Yeah, we. I think we all do. The, the, the one of the some of the best al albums and music we've heard over the last few years have been the uh, King Cobra albums. But oh, thank you. you you've uh, never never taken it out on tour. Was it just one of those things that didn't happen? Well, um, there was no support from Frontier, yeah. uh, uh, and Carmine wanted a certain amount of money for the band, and we were offered some money with the uh, you know some good figured money but uh, the figures were good for everybody to do it but still when you haven't been out in a long time you know uh, if you were out and about the figures would be more you know yeah. so it was more or less of uh, breaking even doing some festivals oh, and okay. Carmine's all about you know you got to feed the children at home so yeah, we'd love. We, you, you got a big following down in Australia, and we'd we'd love to get you down there oh, one day. Well, so. the show's going on the road, so. Uh, oh, this is the yeah, next yeah, question yeah, we uh, have. We'll was... be another company of it. Yeah. And then we can uh, because, switch off with other players. Because we saw that you'd done this, and we we saw a band called the uh, the Kings of Chaos over in Australia a couple of years ago. And we thought that sounds familiar. That sounds a bit like writing the rock ball. But uh, it's a little different. <laughs> That's a bunch of rock stars together doing a bunch of songs. This is a total story and uh, kind of a, a journey through the 60s, 70s, and 80s. We're not really doing much of our own material. Yeah. And I'm not sure what the Kings of Chaos are doing or what material they're doing either, because I, I heard you know that uh, there's been quite a different uh, uh, lineup. Yeah. For different gigs, Slash was in it, I believe, and yeah, he was in uh, uh, Glenn Hughes and Glenn Joe Elliott from Death uh, Leopard. There was yeah. loads of loads of guys. Um, so I, I heard it was some really great players and with some great music. Yeah. Uh, but this is this is a little different. This is um, this is more like uh, it could be a Broadway. I was told or, I was told or, it was like a really good version of Rock of Ages. Uh, yeah, well, Rock of Ages is more of like a, a Broadway thing, but this is yeah. this is more like a bunch of concerts with the storyline of actors and actresses going through time, and it's a history lesson uh, for classic rock for kids that mm. never experienced it, and for people that actually went through those times. So uh, on the screens, it's a, a bit of history of each band that we do, and then. Uh, there's, it's a story behind it about a roadie uh, who comes okay. up with a, 
Sounds good. Uh, Roadie don't, Village. Don't, don't you know? spoil it for us. Oh, no, no, no. no. I won't, <laughs> won't spoil it for you. <laughs> uh, just trying to give a good analogy yeah, of what yeah. people to expect when they do come see Radio the Rock. So the, the absolute best night you can have out in Vegas, surely. The best night you can have in Vegas. Uh, right here, yes, yeah. the best party. Yes, it is. Excellent. Yeah, and, and we're uh, the number one musical, and there's no uh, backing tracks. It's all right on the money every night. Yeah, you got some brilliant players out there. Uh, and what, what, what about you? Are you writing at the moment? Are you looking? Uh, at, no, at, this is six anything? nights a week, so it's uh, it Not takes a lot. A lot you know, I mean, you got to be on your game every night. So. Um, even I was sick for like five weeks. I had bronchitis and stuff, and I I pushed through it. You know, uh, we've got some um, subs, but you know, uh, I, um, I I never quit on a show, so I, I just plowed through it. So I'm glad to be healthy again. <laughs> no, that's, fun. that's that's great. It's great. It'll be great to see you on stage there tonight. Just got a couple of quick questions, if we could close with. Uh, for you, if you could have been a fly on the wall for the creation of any great album, just to see how it all happened in the studio, what would it be for you? Oh, I think it probably would have been Led Zeppelin. Yeah, any any and album then, in particular? Uh, I was fortunate enough to see Ronnie and work in the studio and work with him, so mm -hmm. I know what the fly on the wall feels like about that. <laughs> um, uh, Zeppelin, I would say. Um, there were so many great bands, so to pick one, but Led Zeppelin was really groundbreaking, and so was Jimi Hendrix. And there's a bit of Zeppelin in there tonight, I understand. Yes, yes, yes. Excellent. we would do some Zepp and we do some Hendrix. That'd be great. What what keeps you going as an artist? Love, love, the love of it, the love to do it. Yeah. The love for music. Um, and it's still the same thrill getting up there on the stage. And finding out m the more I, I love something um, in everything around us, everything is made with love. The more we love it and love uh, our cars and uh, our lives, uh, the more uh, pleasant life is. Yeah. It is heaven then. It is. And that, that was the key. That's the key to life is the power is love. And, that and the magic is gratitude. And that pretty much answers my last question. What is and, the meaning of life? <laughs> and the secret to life is ask, believe, and you'll receive. So that's yeah. the secret to life. And the power is love. And magic is gratitude. And that speeds. And the more grateful we are, the more we speed up everything. That's right. I'm also a minister. We have a rock, raiding the rock vault, uh, get married by a rock and roll minister.